Hello all, and welcome to a brand new game. I've seen a couple of videos on this, and I've played it for about an hour or so, just to kind of get used to things. I am loving this game. Uh, Ian told me I needed to try it, or asked me if I'd tried it, and I looked at a couple of videos of it, and I was like, oh my god, I got to have it. I love my survival aspects. I'm into my camping and my fishing and my hunting and I loved Tom Hanks and Castaway and I, I used to watch the Survivor uh, when Survivor first originally came out and I watched uh, I watched the, about the first three or four seasons of that before I lost interest in it but you know and then I watch uh, a lot of the Survivor Man series and you know Naked Survival which is I don't know, weird, but then lost, and I was like, you know, what would I do in that situation, and this game seems to put you there, and uh, it just, it, I don't know, I can't explain it, I hope you guys like it, uh, if I get a lot of likes and comments on this, I'm definitely going to add this as a continuous upload, and I've been meaning to say this, but I would love to be able to upload a lot of videos every single night. But I only have an 892 kilobyte per second upload being in the middle of Wyoming. It's just not available. Uh, CenturyLink takes all of our money and they sink it into the bigger cities. I think right now they're sinking it all into Texas and stuff. So 892 kilobytes per second is all I can get. So what happens is I do videos and then I can record. You know, I usually try to upload two every night. And when I don't upload two, if it's not a real life situation, which is that often, it's because I went to upload two, and when I got up the next day, for some reason, that second one didn't upload, and I, ha I'm, I have to wait until later. Enough of that. Let's get on with this game. Uh, right. They've got a couple of new updates, and so we're going to start a new game and get it going. Um, and this video might go a little bit longer than... 30 minutes. Okay. Give me a second. And away we go. Sorry about that. I had to change my resolution. I guess the new patch they just upgraded changed something where it wouldn't load the display correctly or something. So you start out on a plane here, and it'll give you a few tips on what to do. The graphics, the graphics I love on this game. I can't tell you if I would have been able to play it on my old video card or not. But first thing I want you to do is go up here uh, and make a martini. Just to kind of introduce you. Hold the left mouse button to craft a martini using the crafting group on the trolley. Okay. Tab to open your inventory. Select the lighter. Left mouse button. Use mouse button. There you go. E to pick it up. And left mouse button to drink it. And that's the basic of the crafting system. You'll have a stone axe when we get down to the island. Head back to your seat, okay. And you'll have and you can make like a uh, crude stone hammer and that's how you build stuff. The axe will destroy. Now I apologize in advance, this is gonna be loud at first. And I probably won't do much talking until we get to the island. I'm not going to skip the intro for those of you that have not seen this. Yeah. Oh, man. There we go. And we're crashed. Get to the life raft on the surface. You got it. We're underwater. I don't know if there's a drowning mechanic in this game. I guess it's not that way. How do you get out? Oh, there it is. Well, maybe not. There it is. Where's our there's a raft.
tell me if, if you watch Lost, tell me that doesn't remind you of Lost when they're on the island with that big engine. Now that was a little bit different. When I first played this, you had to kind of guess. Okay, here we are on our raft, and I'm like I said before, I, I'm sorry for how loud it was. This game is just beautiful. The graphics are great. Um, you can look down, you know, into the water. It's nice and crystal clear. There are sharks. Let's get this paddle. And let's go to the island. That music means there's a shark. Ah! Go. 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 We're in a rubber raft here. Let's go over here and see if we can't beach this sucker. Okay, Q to drop. And I thought... You right-click. you got to get it in just the right place, but you can right-click and grab a hold of stuff and move it around. So we'll pull this up out of the way. We'll grab this paddle and move it. All right. Now, there's still not a lot of information out there uh, available on the Internet, but as this game gets more and more popular, more and more information is becoming available. Uh, I haven't looked up a whole lot. I've just played a little bit to get the basics, watched a couple of videos. I want, I want to kind of play this that uh, to, to try to figure it out as I go. If I get really stumped, I will look stuff up. So, sticks. Well, we're going to survive, so we need a stick. We're going to need rocks. You hit your tab, bring your inventory up. You got a lighter, a knife, a water bottle, and now we have sticks and rocks. You cannot move stuff. If you want to move stuff, you have to drop it on the ground and then pick it up in the order that you want it on your toolbar. So we'll hit the number two to get our knife. Well, we'll just get our knife. Yucca plants, you're going to want these. And those will give you bindings. And these plants will grow back over time. So let's, uh, let's explore this island a little bit, see what we can find. Uh, trees, right now the only thing that you can chop down is uh, the palm trees. You can't cut down any of the others. Hit the E to pick things up. What do we got over here? Ooh, okay. Goggles? Cool. Alright. Take those. Who knows, we might need them. A rock. You can't interact with anything that doesn't show that you can interact with it. It doesn't make a lot... Oh, a potato plant. I haven't seen those before. Potatoes. Give me food. Give me food. You can't interact with it unless it highlights like that. Which, you know... Non-reality there. I mean, hey, it is a game. Because, of course, you know, if I wanted to rock... Look, there's plenty of rocks, but I can't pick them up. So you got limited resources. That right there means we're out of room in the inventory. Oh, I didn't want to do that. If you hit F, it brings up your arm, your watch. You can get sunburned in the game. It's 108 degrees, 1022 in the morning. Hit your left mouse button while you got that up. And you'll be able to see your health, your food in the middle, your drink on the right. So... Um, I guess what we'll do... Is we'll come over where we left our raft. Where was it? There it is. We'll drop some of this stuff off on the ground. As far as I know so far, it does not disappear when you drop it. 
so to make room so we can keep picking stuff up we'll drop some stuff here and we'll show you the crafting here in a minute All right, let's finish exploring the island. See what else we can find. Hold your shift to run. And just keep picking stuff up. Looks like we got another case here. Get in the boat. Yep. Got to be careful on some of this stuff. Remember, it's a real early alpha. This game is brand flippers. Cool. We're going to go scuba diving. Real early alpha, so there are things that are good that are screwed up in the game. Starfish, I don't even know if you can eat starfish in real life or not. Um, certain things, the yucca plants, potato plants, as far as I know, they do respawn, but the sticks and rocks do not. Uh, once you uh, build a shelter and a campfire, do a little bit of cooking. Uh, there's not any more really available in the game yet. Like I said, though, early alpha. So more is going to come available. Crabs, you got male and female crabs. you got to watch that. You don't kill all of one or they won't reproduce. Duh. Makes sense, huh? But uh, food is plentiful. Food is plentiful. And you can see there, see there's a little potato spud. That way it grows back. Get all the rocks and sticks you can find. Sticks won't be too hard because you cut down trees and get sticks, and we'll show you that in a little bit too. But rocks, you run out of rocks on an island, you have to uh, go to another island and collect them. Uh, one thing they need to add to the game is uh, being able to find your way back home. There is a compass you can find if you come across it. But, you know, if you don't know how to read a compass or really use one, it's not going to help you much. Some more potatoes. And I don't think they've added the being able to uh, cook potatoes yet. Alright, we're full. Ah, keep hitting the wrong button. Let's remember where those potatoes are at. Let's go drop some more of this stuff and come back. Oh, you can climb trees to get coconuts. Just uh, you hit up or you hit your back button to go down the tree. Alright, so let's get rid of the sticks. Rocks. Let's go see if we can find those other potatoes. We're over here somewhere. No reason not to keep collecting those. Uh, where do the other potatoes go? They're over here. There they are. got them all. The graphics in this game is just, they're incredible. You go underwater, look at that. You can uh, spear fish in this game. You have to make a crude spear to be able to do that. You can kill the sharks in the game, but they will also kill you. I think we've kind of picked up all the rocks and sticks that were on the ground. of potato plants. Alright. Alright. Well, let's go drop the rest of this stuff off and then we'll uh, start getting the shelter going. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. You can hear yourselves in there. There's more yucca. Kind of all the stuff I'm going to do if I'm stranded on an island, just start preparing. Now I'm throwing all this stuff down together because the way you craft, which I'm fixing to show you, is you got to kind of throw, figure it out. You got to throw stuff on top of each other, then you get out your hammer and it'll show you what you can craft. And you can craft different items depending on what you toss on the ground together. So the first thing we want to do at 108 degrees in the middle of the day on a deserted island, I think, is get some shelter and not just standing underneath the trees. So what we're going to do is hold the left mouse button down you see the little lines see the little lines w when you're over there where it says rock and then there you're over the top of it. you see three little lines that means you can craft something all right so first thing we're going to do we're going to craft an axe and there it is pick it up okay now what we're going to do is we're going to craft a hammer and we'll pick that up craft a campfire we'll go ahead and do that too and then let's see where do we want to put our fire uh, let's put our fire right there for now we're not gonna light it yet though okay let's look at our hunger and stuff we're good so we'll get our uh, hammer and we can't craft anything, as you can see. So we need some more stuff. Well, what do we need? Well, let's find our axe. And let's cut a tree down. Love the way the crafting and stuff works in this game. It is just pretty cool. And what you can do is grab the tree. And we'll pull it over here. We'll chop another one down. Grab it. All right. So you got trunks now. What you got to do is you got to hit these, and it breaks down in stages. And you can see too, we chop the trees down now. We get the coconuts from these trees. Let's pick all of them up because they have their uses. Sixteen twenty-nine, four four thirty in the afternoon. Uh, coconuts. Where do we, let's see? We'll put the coco. Ah, no, nope, I didn't want to do that. We'll put the coconuts over here for now. We want our axe. Anyway, so you got your trees, and now what you got to do is you got to break them down. Uh, they break down in stages. First of all, what we're doing here is breaking it down into a log. See, now you have a log, and you can move that around. stuff going here. Just it's so cool how the mechanics work in this game.
depend on on what you want to craft just depends here let's pull this over here there we go this one here has the palm fronds on it so when you break that down you don't get the log but you get the palm fronds and let's pick those up and we'll take and throw them over here into our pile now we can make stuff. Crude axe, crude hammer, nope. We don't want that. We want... Where's our hammer? There we go. Can't make anything yet. Now we break the logs. Down into more sticks. Flying. All right. Select the sticks. Throw them down. I want some more palm fronds. 108 degrees. Still seven o'clock at night. Oh, this one. There's that music. No dinner around here, sharks. Go away. No dinner around here. right there. Look at that. Go away, shark. Alright, let's get our hammer out. Now we got our line. See, now we can build a foundation. And now we just place the foundation where we're going to place it here. Uh, that looks good. There. Boom. We got a foundation. And then... What we can do is we can pick all this stuff up because we want to build on the foundation as we bring these over here. And we throw the stuff down. Over here. Now we can build supports, okay? And so you set your supports. You gotta have supports to be able to put a wall in. Alright, we need more sticks. If you can remember the keys, there we go. right over here so we shouldn't have to pick them up and bring them over. So you can move the sticks around too. needs to go away and leave us alone. Break down into log. Break down into sticks. 
and there is durability. You can see my stone axe, but we're we're good for now. Let's uh, pick it up. There we go. Let's go to our hammer. Let's, let's build another foundation. And then once you have one foundation, it snaps. Okay. Let's go with some more supports. Go away, shark. You're not getting anything here. Let's build a wall. And you can use your uh, middle mouse button to rotate. Other than that, you just gotta go until you can place it. And it turns blue. Alright. We're getting hungry. Let's go to, uh, let's go eat a couple potatoes. Left click to eat it. Let's eat a couple more. Well, let me show you what else you can do. Okay, so let's get, uh, I think. If you don't have your stone axe and stuff, I know you can do this with rocks to get rock shards. Guess you can't do that. So let's get our axe. Take a green coconut, breaks it into a regular coconut. Take a regular coconut. Oh, takes it into a drinkable coconut. Pick that up. Select it, left click, and you drink it. And then you put it back down, get your axe back out. And now it's edible. There we go. Hunger's almost full and our thirst is full. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so, we've got plenty of palm fronds, we've only got one stick, let's grab these over here, and it's probably just faster to pick them up and then throw them all down. Sometimes it doesn't grab like you'd want it to. Alright, well, let's get our axe out, and let's chop a tree down. So, what I'm going to do, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end this video here. Let's see if we can grab the sucker. Grab it, grab it, grab it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to end this video here, guys. This game has so much potential, it's unreal. Uh, just unreal. And I'm going to do a few videos on it. I'm, I'm going to play it. There's not going to be question about that. I'm definitely going to play the game. It's just survival games and this is no zombies and or pirates or anything like that yet who's going to say they might add pirates in but uh, it's strictly survival and the exploration uh, from what I understand the world is randomly generated underneath the ocean is randomly generated um, the possibilities are just endless there's shipwrecks out there some of the islands have wrecked boats on them that you can explore uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to play this game let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a like if you want to see more definitely. Leave comments. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I know this. Uh, there's a lot of videos hitting YouTube on this game. Uh, but there's not still not a whole lot yet to where it's just overwhelming. Uh, next video, you can see the sun's coming up. We're going to be starting our second day on the island. And I think this is what I'm going to be able to try. This is what I'm going to be trying to do. I'm going to try to do one day equals one video. 
but we'll play it by ear and see how it works. Uh, as always, guys, have a good day, have a good time, and never stop having fun. And till later, or until I see you again. Later. <laughs>